in today's recipe i'm gonna be showing you guys how i make this delicious pot of banga and uh, a bed where we are live okay keep watching you don't want to miss this at all you don't want to miss this made made day these are all the ingredients i'm going to be using for this recipe Today's so recipe is going to be a traditional soup that I love to eat when I was in Nigeria. This is my a bear bear bear. Okay, if you don't have that leaf, you can go ahead and use bitter leaf. These are my fish. I have croaker fish, tilapia fish, and mackerel fish. That's what I'm going to be using. I've already smoked it in the oven. And these are my meat. The meat is already being pre-cooked okay i did that off camera and these are my stock fish fillet i've already washed the fish and soak it about one hour in hot water and these are my blended pepper in the blended pepper i have tomatoes onions banga spice crayfish and uh, dry pepper and this is my vegetable seasoning i'm going to be using i have my two maggi cube then i also have my palm cream this is the main ingredient of the soup palm cream and this is my salt thank you so much everyone for tuning in today if you are new to my channel you are welcome to share with love tv please subscribe put on your bell so that you'll be notified whenever i post a video in a clean bowl I'm going to pour my palm sauce inside this bowl right there. Then I'll add in my hot water and I will stir together so that I will be able to strain the sauce properly. I'm just going to use a, a spatula and I'll put the palm sauce inside this bowl. And I'll add him my hot water. I'll go ahead and add some warm water inside the sauce, then I will stir together. I'm going to do this tea. The sauce is totally dissolved so that it will be more easier for me to strain strain it. go ahead and strain the palm sauce inside this pot that i'm going to use to cook it as you can see after straining it then i'll put it on top of the stove then i will start cooking After I am done straining the sauce inside the pot, I'll put it on top of the stove 
Then I'll cover it and allow it to cook for about 5 minutes. After 5 minutes later, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add in my stock fish fillet. Uh, adding in my stock fish fillet. Then I'll also add in my blended pepper. Then I will stay together and I would like to cook for about 10 minutes. Give it a stir. Then I will cover and like to cook for 10 minutes. Then while the sauce is cooking, I'll go ahead and blend my a Bavaria leaf, okay? i put it inside my blender, then I'll add water to the same level with the leaf. Then I'll blend till it is completely smooth. If you don't have this leaf, you can use, you can use bitter leaf, leaf. If you don't have this a Bavaria leaf, you can use bitter leaf or you can also use ugu leaf if you want to then i will blend all together till it is where well smooth because you want it to be very smooth a leaf is smooth Then let's check on the soup. This is 10 minutes later. I'm going to add in my blended leaf. I'm going to add, pour in my blended leaf. Then I will stir together. Then I'm going to cover it and I to cook for another 10 minutes. I'll cover and cook for another 10 minutes. This is 10 minutes later. Then I'm going to add in my meat. I'm going to add in my meat and also I'm going to add in my fish. I'll go ahead and add in my two Maggi seasoning. Then 
say they no believe, say now that boy be this again. This is the other one, it's two of them. Then I'll also go ahead and add in my salt to taste. Add in my salt. Then I'll also add in my crayfish. The more the merrier. Add in more crayfish. And I had in my vegetable seasoning about a teaspoon of vegetable seasoning. Then I will stir everything together. I'll give it a quick stir. Stir everything together, then I will I like to cook for another five to ten minutes again. I cover it up and I like to cook for about five to ten minutes. This is 10 minutes later oh my goodness guys if only you can perceive the aroma in the kitchen it was so good thank you so much everyone for stopping by today if you are new to my channel please subscribe put on your bell so that you can notified whenever i post a video and to all my returning subscribers thank you so much for the love for the support for watching my video and for sharing that also god bless you all i really appreciate the support from every one of you i'll go ahead and taste for salt and everything was okay the seasoning was good i don't need to add no more seasoning it was perfect i cover it again and i like to cook for about two to three minutes This after two to three minutes. Look at guys, this soup. Oh, I don't even know how to describe this soup. You can go ahead and use this soup to eat starch. Mm, one of my favorite. Padded yam, plantain fufu, potato fufu, any fufu, rice fufu, any fufu of your choice. This soup will go for it, okay? Just stirring it up. When by the time your oil you start seeing the oil floating on top of your soup, that is the sign that your soup is ready. That is the sign to show that your soup is ready. This soup was so good, guys. If you don't have a bear where we are, you can use bitter leaf, as I said said earlier. You can use bitter leaf for this soup also. Whichever leaf you use is gonna taste good. You see that oil exploding on top of it. By the time it's ready, after I allow it to cool down completely, I'm going to drain some of the oil away. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed i love you guys thank you so much for watching my video i really appreciate every one of you and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye i dub for every one of you love you guys bye